Hey guys, today I'm going to be making peanut butter balls. I figured it's still summer, even though it's the end of summer, and nobody wants to be baking things in the oven and makes the house hot and it's just miserable. So I thought I would show you guys a really good recipe um, that you don't have to have your oven, so it's not gonna be super hot. Um, just a disclaimer, this is not the healthiest recipe in the world, so I would suggest eating these in moderation, but they are super yummy. So let's just get started. Okay, so to make this recipe, you need three pounds of peanut butter, two pounds of um, confectioner's sugar or powdered sugar, one pound of butter, one bag of milk chocolate, and one bag of dark chocolate. Okay, so let's jump into making these peanut butter balls. So the first thing we're going to do is melt our butter. You're gonna melt all of it. Um, it doesn't need to be any certain temperature or anything, um, as long as it's all melted. So next we're going to put all of our peanut butter in a mixing bowl. I have a KitchenAid here, but you can always mix it by hand. It just takes a little while longer. So next, you pour your butter into your peanut butter. And then you start mixing it. Like I said, you can mix it by hand. I happen to have some help here, so I'm going to mix it with this KitchenAid. Okay guys, so just a tip. Um, I never use a KitchenAid with this recipe before because this is my grandma's and I just make it at home. Mix the butter into the peanut butter first because when you use the KitchenAid, butter goes everywhere. So, mix it by hand first, and then once we start mixing the sugar in, it does get harder and it won't like fly everywhere, so use the mixer if you're using one for the sugar and mix the butter in by hand. All right, so now you're just gonna start adding in your powdered sugar slowly. I mean, when I mean slowly, do like three big spoonfuls because there's so much, and then mix it in there and then once it's pretty pretty mixed then add some more All right guys, so now the texture should be super thick. Um, like when you stir it, it should be really hard to stir. But it, it should also be smooth and not chunky or have clumps in it. That is kind of hard to achieve when you're doing it by hand because it does get super hard to um, mix. So I would recommend if you have a big strong man around, to ask them nicely to go stir your peanut butter. Um, or if you're using the KitchenAid, it does all the work for you. So. Now I'm just going to cover this with some plastic wrap and I'm going to put this in the fridge overnight and then we will be back tomorrow. Okay guys, so it is the next day and here is the peanut butter. So it's nice and hard which means it will be easier to roll and it won't stick to you. So um, I'm just going to start getting these peanut butter balls started. Um, you can use anything to scoop these out. I'm just, and this didn't even come out very round, so. And then just roll them up. And make sure that your hands are clean because since you are rolling these, anything that is on your hands is going to be getting all over the peanut butter balls. You wanna make sure to work somewhat quickly, otherwise it will start to melt and it will get difficult. And if it does, that's okay. Just put it back in the refrigerator for a little while longer so it'll harden again and then start back up again. Um, this is also a great family project. It does take a while to roll all of these so you can get how, whoever you want involved, your kids, your husband, behind the camera over there. I'm gonna get him to come over here and help me here in a second. 
Um, so yeah, just start rolling all of these balls. And then I'm also, I forgot the toothpicks, going to be putting the toothpicks in here because um, when I dip, when I dip these in the chocolate, it'll help me not get my uh, fingers all covered in chocolate. All right, guys, so I am going to put those peanut butter balls in the freezer overnight, and then I'm going to come back tomorrow, and I'm going to finish up this recipe. All right, guys, so it is day three, and the peanut butter balls are frozen, and now I'm going to dip them in chocolate. I already melted this. What I did is I just put it in the microwave. You can use a double boiler. You can use a fondue pot. You can use anything that you want. Um, I just kind of just threw them in the microwave to make it easy and like I said in the beginning of the video I used half milk chocolate and half dark chocolate. So um, you have a couple options. You can dip the whole thing in there or you could just dip just the top or the bottoms in and kind of have them like that. I like to have the whole thing. Alright guys, so these are now dipped in chocolate. I'm going to take the toothpicks out and then put them in the fridge for about an hour for them to really get nice and hard and then we get to taste them. Alright guys, the peanut butter balls are all done. That took forever. I know it is a long recipe, but let's see how it turned out. You want to take the first bite? Yeah. Okay. Bite hard, bite. Bite. Is it good? It looks so good. We came some without chocolate. I have some, yeah. These are good. I also have quite a few without chocolate because my great grandma wanted some and she doesn't like chocolate. So I just have regular peanut butter balls without chocolate. Make sure to subscribe and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Give me that. <laughs>